Hi all, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be sharing my story on how I got to where I am currently. Like most, it's been an up and down journey, but I wouldn't trade the experiences that I have for anything because they have led to the hopes and dreams that I am pursuing today. Spoiler alert, that life includes becoming a minimalist, living intentionally, and pursuing a more simplified life. Let's get into it. When we're young, I feel like we all have big hopes and ambition. Ask any six-year-old what they wanna be when they grow up, and they'll probably say something like an astronaut a chef, a firefighter, or in today's day and age, a YouTuber. When I was a child, I dreamed of having my own gift shop. My little hometown had several gift shops up and down Main Street. I love looking through these shops so much that I would ride my bicycle uptown multiple times a week just to stroll through these shops. I visited this specific gift store so much that when I got older, the owner offered me a job. I wasn't even looking, but for my nature of straightening items as I walked around, I guess that made me the perfect candidate. I worked at this gift shop all throughout my high school career, and then it was time to go to college. Now, this is where I decided to become a store manager instead of being my own gift shop owner. This is probably because I had grown up some, the world had gotten to me, and I came to the conclusion that it would be hard to make it on my own. Between overhead costs, paying employees, and purchasing the items that I would need to sell in my store, I had decided it wasn't the best option for me. The summer before my senior year, I landed a management internship at a popular retail pharmacy. I continued to work for them, and upon graduation, I was offered a job in their management training program. I quickly worked myself up the corporate ladder, doing all that I needed to do. I worked at several stores, read leadership books on my own, and studied hard to get certified as a certified pharmacy technician. All of this landed me the title of store manager at the age of 23. And guess what? I thought I had made it. I had a decent salary, mostly awesome employees, and work I excelled at. I was doing well in my career, but I always felt a tug that I was meant for more. Looking back, this is probably why I was so ambitious about paying as much of my college as I could along the way. After college, when I was doing taxes on my own, I was hit with another reality check. I had paid $3,000 towards my student loans, but they had only gone down $1,000. So I hit them hard and paid off the rest of my loans within two years. After the student loans were gone, I thought I had to get a new car. And so the debt payoff cycle happened once again. Granted, I did buy slightly used and I had justified the purchase stating I couldn't have a broken down car causing me to be unreliable or worse, unable to open the store. By this time, I was becoming more and more depressed on my job, being overworked and underpaid and quite frankly, just treated unfairly. I had a constant nagging in my brain and just knew in my soul that this wasn't where I was meant to be. So after the car was paid off, that was my plan. Oh, and did I mention there was a wedding in there too? Although I wanted so badly to learn how to make an income online through providing value to others, I didn't give myself permission to quit. Anyone else have issues with self-worth and believing in themselves? You're not alone. I had even saved up a good amount of money that I would be able to live up for quite a while. But it was only after my husband told me, not given me permission, told me to quit my job that I did. I wish I could say after that that my dreams took off but not long later, I found myself back in the corporate world. The need to provide for my family was too high of a value for me. But as you can guess, I became unhappy internally again. Being an entrepreneur was so important to me for a multitude of reasons. Financial and time freedom, not missing out on family vacations, not having to work when it was my husband's week in awe, and ultimately because I dreamed of staying home with our future babies while still providing for our family. So what brought me here today? In 2021, as it seemed, I was having a quarter life crisis, I chose a word for the year. That word was intentional. I promised myself I would start being intentional day to day to build the life that I wanted. A life of freedom and entrepreneurship and ultimately a life where family was the center of my focus. I knew that your environment greatly influences your productivity and motivation. So that's where I started. And in turn, it propelled me on a continuous journey into minimalism and decluttering. This journey has grown me as a person, made me closer with my husband, and given me more time to find what is important in my life. I found so much joy and peace making my home more and more clutter free and I hope to share that inspiration with you. If you're into decluttering, minimalism, or just want to live a more intentional life, it would mean the world to me if you subscribe. I also love hearing your stories. If you have something you would love to share, leave it below. It makes me more happy than you know hearing what you have to say. Until next time, stay intentional. Bye friends!